We got an Asian Bachelorette that will be the star of next season, but will this end up being good representation or bad representation for Asians? Let's talk about it. Oh, they got the ABGs on ABC, man. But what if Jen Tran just do it to end up with the white man? Still good for her. Uh, we got to talk about it because Jen Tran is the first Asian Bachelorette in the series history and wow. this is making big news right now we're talking about tons of comments you know some over here some over there make sure you like subscribe turn on your notifications check out small ass sauce at small sauce.com andrew let's run some clips from jen trans previous seasons and interviews what happened in your opinion because when we saw everything it was going great you had the beach date you told joey you were falling for him joey said he was over the moon that you were feeling that way or what do you think happened Huh, that's a tough question. I don't know. Maybe he really sat and thought about my surfing skills and he probably was like, you know what, this girl's not for me because she's belly flopping in the ocean. Like, what's going on here? Oh, honestly, I was just so happy to see all the girls again. It's been so long since we've gotten all together and everybody looks amazing tonight. Oh, I loved how genuine Joey was and how he really allowed me to just feel safe in who I am. And I was able to just open up to him. Um, and I think that was why I had such great feelings for him. What is your love language? Uh, quality time. What is your favorite quality about Joey? Ooh, um, there's so many. Boom! I mean, she was a contestant, you know, for uh, Joey Grazia, I believe, on the previous one. And uh, they've selected her to be the first Asian Bachelorette, where there's going to be a bunch of guys competing for her heart. Yeah, and I will say right off the bat, guys, I watched a lot of her interviews. And uh, she's a physician's assistant from Miami, PA Florida. School. PA school. PA school. Oh, she's going to school. Yeah, that, that, but, but, that's but, a real ABG move to be in no, school. But 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 but, old, but, but 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 physician's assistant. That's a level up than than the usual. I think she's really enrolled. I saw yeah. her with the stethoscope. So what I'm saying is she is well-spoken. She's not super ditzy. She does sound like a white girl. But I think that she played well with audiences as a contestant. She was a finalist, almost winning over Joey's heart. I didn't watch the show. But I think a lot of people are wondering, David, is this going to be good? Is she going to, one, embarrass herself as an Asian woman? And number two, could she possibly embarrass any Asian male contestants? Well, I think that that's not, you know, to be honest, as far as what I can see, she seems really intelligent, really, really well-spoken, like particularly well-spoken. That's why I think they chose her. And uh, I don't think that she will embarrass herself or Asians. However, I do think she'll probably end up with a white guy. And some people were saying that the contestant list leaked and there's one Asian guy, two South Asian guys, and the other 27 guys are white or black. Mm. So, I mean, I guess a lot of people were saying, how come when they had a black bachelorette, they made sure that 15 out of the 30 bachelors were black, but when they have an Asian bachelorette, one guy looks like her. Yeah, this is a uh, classic, you know, because at the end of the day, I think uh, when you envision a black woman, uh, you got to respect that she likes her black kings. But then if it's an Asian woman, you're just like, I don't know, Asian women just like everybody else. And you know, maybe they do or don't prefer Asian guys. So right, it right. Matter. Well, maybe the white guys cast in the show or the white women are like, well, I, I think that Asian women actually yeah. prefer white men anyway. So yeah, let's just give her what she wants. I would say out of 30 contestants, I would honestly say realistically, it would have been fair if at least seven of the guys were actually like Asian, South Asian, like somewhere in the Asian sphere. Right. Seven of the guys needed to be oh, right. like one third, like one fourth or one third of the guys needed to be come on come on but i mean we like should at least have seven percent right if there's 30 guys that means there at least has to be two asian male contestants at seven yeah. percent yeah but it's like the black bachelorette you like give her like you know oh well you have all these uh, half the guys are black you know you got your pick you know right um let's just run this clip from comedian jordy pizza regarding asian men on the bachelorette my name is jordan i'm a financial analyst and a hopeless romantic and I'm here to fall in love. So unfortunately, I am going home. Um, uh, she found out I was Asian right away, uh, but uh, which is understandable. And um, and uh, no worries. Uh, we'll see where the journey of love takes me next. Um, it's one a.m. We've yeah, come no worries. 
I was thinking in my head. First of all, that's a funny clip. That's a funny clip. I'll say this. I was thinking in my head, if they want to be woke in a 2024, 2025 way, they let a Hoppa win or let a Hoppa get in the final three. Right. Um, David, you're assuming that these things are scripted. What are you talking about? I would say this, man. And uh, I will say this, though. To be, not to be fair to the producers, but I don't think a lot of good Asian men apply for this. Just like I don't think that a lot of like, you don't see a lot of Korean or Chinese contestants either. Like you mean on the female side. Yeah, but like, I'm just saying because you kind of need like a lot of people to apply so that they can pick from them. Oh, they're going to pick like good looking ones. They're going to pick charismatic people. They're going to pick people who are going to play nice with the producers and not throw a fit. They want play. to become influencers yeah. after the show yeah, is over, Yeah, they're going right? to pick people who want to sign that contract. That means, hey, if you get any sponsorship deals after the show, we're going to get a large cut of it. Trust me, like there's a lot that goes into a TV show. So I'm not surprised that not that many Asian guys even apply because I think Asian guys are like busy doing a bunch of other stuff and maybe they don't feel confident that keeping America running behind the scenes. Yeah. And they don't feel confident that they'll even make it one. They don't feel like they're just not the type of people to put themselves out like that. So you could say that's an issue for Asian guys. And that is true. I think more Asian guys should apply for this, but also, I mean, am I going to tell a bunch of five foot, 10 six foot Asian guys to go apply. Right. Um, I'll say that there's another element of just being happy for because any Asian representation, even if she goes and dates 29 white guys on the show or whatever, is still, I guess, like progress for the Asian movement in America, as crazy as it sounds, right? Like it is what it is. We're at this point where sort of like the candles need to burn out before you get to your candles or you're in the back of the club line, that front of the cl club line needs <laughs> to go into VIP before you your placement yeah. gets moved up. And that's literally the equation at hand. Um, also, Andrew, it is true that some non-Asians on non-Asian Reddit boards that are just like fans of The Bachelorette, they were mad that she got casted and they said that she was filling a diversity quota because obviously they were hoping for either like a blonde or a Latina or even like a Latina, like a Latin white, like a right. like an Italian or something, yeah. a Greek. But I mean, shout out, you know, you get some Southeast Asian representation and maybe this isn't the only representation that Vietnamese or Southeast Asians would want, but like, I guess this is... This is not bad. Look, she is well-spoken. I'm like, I'm not dissing her at all. And she's I think, good, yeah, she's good-looking, too. And I would say she's almost, like, not ethnically ambiguous, but maybe a slight Latin look. Yeah, but, but I also think, like, audiences like her and cheer for her. So I think that's important. So anyways, moving anyway, on. Anyway, let's get into the comment section. Somebody said, did we forget Tila Tequila? She had her own love show. Oh, my God. And Tila Tequila actually looks like Jen Tran. Like, somewhat. I'm not saying a lot, but like, yeah, there's some more, resemblance. Tequila, tequila looks more like an alien, but man, that Yo, show was crazy. Uh, what was it? No, because uh, she was dating guys and girls on that show. And no, man. and then you know that she went on to do some adult videos and then also became a Nazi. Yeah. Anyways, guys. Uh, yeah. It's still a legend, though. Uh, her and Francine D, Sasha Singleton, you can't take away from the hot and port night days. Other people were talking about how come Asians... Uh, previously, on, as far as being a contestant on these shows, Andrew, were primarily on The Apprentice. There have been some very notable Asians on The Apprentice. And that is, sounds like something that more like your Asian parents would root for you to apply for, right? Yeah, I mean, Yul Kwan had a whole career after The Apprentice. No, no, he won Survivor. Oh, Survivor, sorry. James Sun won The Apprentice. Oh. James and then, Sun from uh, Seattle. There was this gold Nicole, Nicole Chu. Chu did good. There was a famous girl, Ivana Ma, who was actually kind of infamous for her scene on there. We won't talk about that. But um, somebody just said, will they have Asian men for her too or just white guys? There was about, Andrew, 100 comments regarding this. We already addressed it. Yeah. Somebody said it's going to be a bunch of tall mid-looking white dudes that's actually hilarious no i think there's gonna be some uh hispanic and italian looking guys you know mediterranean look uh this girl came in and said well it's a certain type of person that even applies to be a contestant on these hyper like middle america shows anyway yes it's true trust me not that many asian men are applying for this show if you think about the demographics of america who watches this show and who wants to be on tv on this particular show Who's going to mostly apply? White dudes. Now, I bet for the Black Bachelorette, they went a little above and beyond to cast a lot of, like, black guys. I bet. I bet oh, they went sure, a little extra sure. harder. Like, they're not setting up in Asian communities to cast for this show for Jen Tran. 
like for the guys. No, no, no. I don't think they're too concerned with like the Asian Nielsen rating numbers. No, they're not concerned with Asian male representation for this season. Somebody said, who cares? She's doing her thing. I guess I'm glad we just got a Viet coming up. So this is kind of like, hey, man, I don't, you know, it is what it is, man. Just good for her coming up in the game, man. And then somebody said, let's just hope for an Asian bachelor next. Andrew, what's your over under on that? Are they going, it does this, is this the natural timeline linear, you know what I mean, leading to an Asian bachelor? Probably eventually, but not holding my breath. Somebody said, can we get three Kevin Wins in the mix? Other people are just saying, oh, Asian men are so bitter. Oh my gosh, blah, blah, blah. This turned into a lot of arguing back and forth. And uh, yeah, this person was just saying, yeah, well, you know, Asian women, they're going to look a lot younger. Asian guys like younger women, but Asian, but women don't like younger looking men. That is to the disadvantage of the men, obviously trying to explain this dynamic that is in Western society. Yeah. Uh, all right. So everybody, you let us know, are you supporting this new season of The Bachelorette? Like, do you guys care? Jen Tran is actually, come on, funny enough, she got like the most typical ABG name. But she's not an ABG. No, she's not an ABG, but Jenny Tran and Kevin Wynn are the most stereotypical names. So I think it's hilarious that she does have that name. Well, Jen especially Tran. Jen with the two ends too. Yeah, yeah. No, shout out to her. I mean, I hope that she does well, represents Asians well. I hope that she's nice to the Asian guys and I hope one of the Asian guys at least makes it to the finalists. Come on. Would that if, be crazy if he went out in the first round? Bro, if all the Asian dudes get wiped out, like even, and they don't, none of them even make it a top five, I'm going to be disappointed. I am. I'm going to be mad and that is going to be saying something because at least... For the politics, they got to keep some Asian guys there. But ultimately, if you look at it in the macro bird's eye, it is good because it shows that the Asian narrative is moving itself along ultimately. But you, you might not love every step of it exactly how it plays out, but that's what it is. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Until next time, we the Hot Pop Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.